Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to a Sacred Symbol Let's Play. My name is Colin Moriarty. I'm joined as always by the best racer, Chris Raygun. It's me. Chris, the audience last month on Patreon, patreon.com slash Colin's Last Stand, they voted as they do each month on a Let's Play that will do. They wanted Crash Team Racing. It won overwhelmingly Nitro Fueled here on PS4. And <laughs> so we are logged in as you. Yeah. You can start it at your leisure. Right, cool. We've downloaded your saves. It works. They well, we'll see. I think yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah, we'll hope. We've downloaded your saves to my PS4 Pro here in my home office, and oh, the game starts pretty quick. Yeah, and we will go from here, and and maybe just play. Maybe you can show me a little bit of a thing or two. Now, I was at or in Virginia last week with my family. My nephews have this game because Activision truthfully sent me too many codes. So I was like, well, I might as well send one to someone that's going to use it. So I sent this to my nephews, and they wanted me to play, but I knew that I was going to do this with you, so I refused so I can be totally fresh <laughs> and have never actually played the game before. So All I right. figured uh, we can we can play. Maybe we can do a circuit or something together. You can show me the ins and outs. We won't play for very long. Yeah, we'll do. We'll but do we'll show we'll... the audience a thing or two. Yeah, I think so. Now, you've earned the Platinum Trophy. I have. In this I've particular game. I think it should show up that I did all of the time trials as well. Wow. All the silver and gold stickers. Wow. Even the bonus one that I didn't have to. Oh, you didn't have to do it. I didn't did have it. to, but I did it anyway. Twilight Tour and Retro Stadium. Ooh, yeah. look at that. That's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, we could uh, we'll do, uh, I guess, I guess a cup. Let's do a cup race. Okay. Wumpa Cup Nitro Cup. I'm going to do the, hmm, which ones? I'm going to do, I'm going to do this one because it's CTR levels and not Nitro. Okay. So two players, and then I guess I come in at some point here. Yeah. I can log I, in. Now, I'm not going to log in as myself. I'm going to log in as a guest. I don't want these trophies. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I think, do not want them. I think them. we're good, right? Please, Please reconnect, reconnect wireless controller. controller. I think oh, it's is, you. This, is this me? Yeah. I think maybe. All right. There oh, we yeah, go. There now, go. I can log in. Now, that's me, but I'm not going to log in as me. I'm going to log in as a guest and do not sign in. Sign with a smartphone. What the? F what is that? And then we're... All right. So, here I am. All right, cool. So I'm I ready to go. Character. Now, characters have their own stats. It's not like in uh, any other Mario Kart or anything where the carts have the stats. It's all player Oh, based. interesting. Who's this Penta Penguin? Who's this young man? He's a, <laughs> he was a cheat code, actually. He was a cheat. It's awesome. In the original Crash Team Racing, he uh, he's unlockable only by cheat codes. And there was like a he was like a developer thing, just so the developers oh. can have fun with him. But they didn't record the lines properly. So like anytime he, there's like an audio cue coming out of that Penguin's voice in the original game, it's like it's just some guy going like, Penguin Yay one. <laughs> and he says Penguin Yay one in this one too. So you like you go great. for balance? Is that what you're going for with yours? I I typically go for turning. Turning. So like these are the like the small animals, like uh, the little purr and polar here. Okay. Because they just have the best turning, and it's like a lot of these tracks are super right angly. Like they're not. It's not like a like a Mario Kart track at all, where it's a lot of kind of like long straights. It really is just kind of insane. Okay. Uh, so well, I'm gonna play as Crash. Is that a little that's, corny? That's, no, that's balanced. I would say that's a pretty good. You, there's Retro Crash too. If you want to go retro, where which one? Oh, he, where is he? Uh, he's like the right, right. Oh, oh, this Avi, Oh, right there. There you is. go. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> he's all polygonal. Oh, I, oh, I see it, it. I must admit that I didn't even realize that he was polygonal because it kind of looks good. Yeah. Uh, all right, and then we can pick. The cart doesn't really matter. No, so it's, a, it's all yeah, cosmetic. Like, okay. Like I got a little buggy here. It's not that. It's not. It's really not that important. Did you say we just go on? Crash was just yawning a little bit. I'm a little concerned about his ability to do this particular race. Oh, he's always asleep. In the first cutscene of this of this game, he's asleep as the bad guy's doing his monologue. Wow. Because he has no he has no bearing on it. He's, <laughs> I love Crash because he's like such a like piece of shit. Hmm. Like he's like the worst person. Even in even in the, the commercials that they used to do with like Nintendo. Yeah, when he would be outside just, with the he megaphone. He would just harass <laughs> like the building. <laughs> He would harass the building. It was all I loved those commercials back in the PS1 era. Those were great. All right, so I don't know, how long has it been since you played like any kind of kart race? Oh my god, years. Oh well, <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. Yeah, yeah. How do I drive? I drive with the R uh, R2. No, it's X. X. Oh, okay. It's cool. X is oh, acceleration. You you you'll see like a little bar uh, on the bottom right that indicates like how, and you know, and you get it all the way up, and then you just hold it, and then you go. All right, I'm going. And oh, then, I can use the D pad. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Ooh, maybe I should have used one of those turtles. Yeah, I'm not a huge kart racing guy. Like, I, oh, okay, so that's that R1 is jump. Yeah, R1 is uh, like you jump and then you turn into a drift, right? So this is, the drifting is like the most complicated part of this because it's like the game's based around it, Ooh. essentially. Oh, man. But 
Basically, you tap you tap any of the either bumper button, either shoulder button, R one or R two. Okay. Uh, and it'll send you into a drift, and then you hit the opposite drift button when the little bar on the bottom right is charged up, and then it gives you a boost. Okay. So it's a lot of it's really all about like chaining boosts. Yeah, it seems like a lot of management. It's a little, it's, too, a little complicated. It's a lo it's not easy at all. Like it's it's definitely one of the more um, you know. Gameplay, as far as gameplay goes, there's a lot of depth compared to, you know, literally any kart racer that I've played. You know, I was making fun of my nephews in my mind, not to their face, of course, because they're little kids. I'm like, these kids suck. They don't want to play video games. Yeah. But this is actually pretty hard. It's not easy, man. Like, this I'm is fun, and this place, is medium difficulty, too. I was flipping the fuck out, like, when I first played it, because I was like, why are they so fast? Why are all the AI so good? You know what's fun about playing? Well, you know, it's not really fun, but... What's always a pleasure about playing any video game online are the many comments that of people that play these games, you know, routinely and know what they're doing. Yeah. And just, it's almost like they they like watching things that are bad, <laughs> just to be frustrated at it. And I sense, I can sense it, Chris, that this is going to be one of those, one of those uh, episodes for me. Oh yeah. You know, I'm kind people of. People are gonna be like, oh, you're. I'm kind of like the the problem I have with this game is like, I don't know, man. It feels weird to play this game now just because it's like and i don't mean to sound pompous at all but, but it you're feels gonna like sound it, pompous. but it feels like i can't play this game with anybody you know what i mean it feels like it's just too i've i've gotten too good at it to play with anybody of, of who isn't like <laughs> who isn't a savant yeah like Are, i feel like do you play this on? Is this playable online or is yeah. this only local? So are you able to find any challenge online? Yeah, perhaps? there's some good challenge online, but a lot of the challenge comes from the fact that there's just a lot of items. <clears throat> I see. So like it's it's really just like getting spammed with items. What I thought you were going to say was that it, the advantage is there's a lot of latency, so you don't know what you're going to get with. <laughs> there is some, there, yeah, some sometimes. The servers have actually been pretty good, actually. I just don't want to finish in last. I think you're probably oh well. Oh, and I'm in last right now. It's not easy. No, I'm, I'm definitely trying to time this out. I just would like to at least show something positive. I did something to someone. I hit. I think I maybe I knocked someone out. Oh, I hit a potion of some sort. Oh, damn. You got to get past that guy. Oh, circle is to use your items. Yeah, I, I figured that out, although I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm, I came in last place. This is horrifying. <laughs> horrifying. We can bump it down to easy. No. <laughs> easy Never. is respectable in this, man. Never, like I'm never doing it. Let's keep. Let, let's. We've come this far. All right. Let's continue. I tried to. I tried to play like normal, <laughs> like not insane. Well, I want you to play your hardest. Yeah. Don't feel right. like you're gonna embarrass right. me. Well, maybe we. Can I can't even be it. any more embarrassed. You know, maybe we can even it out. Like people okay. will like, you know, people will see my side and they'll be like, okay, and then we won't get the comments about this how bad this is, right? Because at least half of it is like crazy. It is okay. Yeah, that's. I wouldn't feel much better if people weren't paying attention to me too much. <laughs> All right. We'll you know. Try. This is a hard one too. Fuck. Papu's Pyramid. It's pretty. The game looks good. It's a gorgeous it's game, colorful. honestly. I wish it was 60 frames per second. That's the only thing that I don't like. <laughs> the people swimming their boats up the waterfall. It's awesome. But uh, Yeah, the polygonal crash is very cool. Yeah, he's a good looking, good looking dude. Alrighty. See, my other problem is I'm not getting... Like, I'm identifying these boxes I want to get, and then someone else runs into it right, at, right when I want it. Yeah. But there's no, you were saying, which is interesting with Mario Kart, I always hated that there really was overt rubber banding with the yeah. AI, which really frustrated me because I felt like I could never get very good. It was, it was a similar thing in Mario Golf, which I really love, where I felt like, oh, fuck, I just got eaten by a flower, where I feel like, uh, what happened? It brought I, you, it, yeah, it brought you back. Jeez. Where I feel like uh, golfers would start getting better, do, you know, being better if you were, if were playing well, but that's not really present in this in this game in, in your experience not to my knowledge like I, I it did bother me in mario kart 2 i'm sure it probably exists to some extent because i think that's just like a part of kart yeah. racers is that the, they're going to have rubber banding um but it's not just like you can trounce the ai like it's not Oop. it's not impossible um, the grass here. this is like watching a child play this game <laughs> i'm not having a good well, i'm not never, having a good you've run never here. played it well i'm doing the best i can you yeah. know this is also like a mechanically insane car racer, like kind of unnecessary. Are you using the word insane intentionally? No, but I just, I just realized. <laughs> it's so just an apt word. What is this thing that's happening around me right now? Is this, oh, this you is a like shield. a barrier? So that's like okay. a, that's, what is it in Mario? There's like, um, 
it's just like a shield that makes you invincible, but it also boosts your speed. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's a little bit of a... And the little, uh, there's like, in, a, in Mario Kart, there's like a coin system where like, you know, you pick up coins and then they b boost your top speed. But in this, um, it boosts your top speed, but it also... I fucked up there. Uh, it boosts your top speed, but it also makes your weapons way stronger. So if you have 10 Wampa Fruits or whatever, uh, your TNT crates become Nitro crates. And they explode on impact instead of just bouncing on top of you. I am, like, so far behind, apparently. I don't think I've even seen anyone ahead of me in some time. In You're already done. <laughs> I think I just... Chris, I want to say that I literally just passed the first... Uh, or the uh, the checkpoint. It's not easy. How man. is that pot... That, oh, no. Oh. See, that's a little deceiving. The green, to me, indicates that it would be something you would want to have. Nope. Green means poison. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Which actually is kind of true, but yeah, like, I guess that makes a lot of sense when you think about it. But also, the green turbo Holy pads are good things. God, I can't believe you. I, I must be thirty seconds or more behind. <laughs> I don't even know. Hey, I man. don't think it even let me finish. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't leave. See, it's hard. I'm man. not. I'm not putting on a good performance here, and I feel like I the get, audience I has to know you, I'm doing the very best. I, I can. promise you. That the overwhelming majority of people in the comments probably can't. It, it's 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 not easy, man. Yeah, who are you? Who are you to judge me? This game is way harder than the original one, and the original one was a PS1 game that ha had no regard for what. Like they were actually trying to kill Crash with the original game. Like, really? For real? Yeah. That was they like the story. Yeah, that's the story. They were, oh, that's they, pretty. They were like going off to make a new thing, and it's like, hey, let's. You know, what would be crazy if we just made this game about an alien. They'd like totally jump the shark. Let's put an alien in Crash, and then they were just like, and everybody loved it, and they were like, oh. Like, they made this great game accidentally, which is kind of, you know, pure pure naughty dog. I gotta say, Chris, I'm really shocked by how well these games are doing. Like, I was so wrong about the relevance of Crash Bandicoot in the modern era. When they announced the trilogy some years ago, I was like, there is no way anyone cares about that. Yeah, and when I found out they were, like, literally remaking it, I'm like, that's such a waste of time. And then it sold, like, 10 million copies. Yeah. And then, and then with this, I was like, all right, Crash Team Racing... This is the best no one. No one gives a shit about Crash Team Racing. I am so out of touch with what people care about with Crash Team Racing and perhaps literally everything else. Depending Crash on your Team opinion. Racing is the best Crash Bandicoot game. Do you think so? Have yeah. you played the, Did you play the ones that were not... Like, didn't Toys for Bob make one or two or someone I think on so. PS2? Yeah. Ah, fuck. They made like my... <laughs> oh, I, all right. This isn't a bad thing. Oh, how do I get rid of it? Uh, you have to hop. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> I'm not having a good... I, again, I'm in last... This is horrible. Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't do too well there either. Like, I never played those. Like, you know when Spyro came out on PS2 and they were weird, like Enter the Dragonfly and all those yeah, weird Yeah, yeah. There I were never, also those weird Crash games. I never played those. Those were not, uh, those were after my, like, I think I played Crash Bash, mm. which was, like, the first one that was uh, not Naughty Dog, and I didn't like it. So I was like, ah, you know, I'm probably retiring this. And around that time, I found Halo, so I was like, all right, well, you know what, this is, this is a good one. But yeah, like I, I don't know, man. Like even with the original, like uh, the original trilogy of Crash games, I was always like, I liked them, but I never like, I don't know. I was surprised that they did well too, as a as a fan of them, you know. Because I was always like this, like I liked them, but I never like love loved them. Right. I think it was more of like a nostalgia thing for me. It's like ah, oh, these these things remind me of cool things. Dude, but, I am uh, so far behind, again. Ah oh, shit! I fucked that up again. It's hard trying to talk and play. I know. It's a skill that I, I'm still not very good at it, but I got used to it at IGN for a while. Yeah, it's actually no joke, like, super hard, especially in a game like this. Everyone thinks everything's easy, right? Like, I was reading a thing recently. Did you see that story on New York Times about the person that started the podcast? Did you read this? This was like a... No. This what? was like a big story on New York Times because everyone was making fun of it. There was this story about how this girl literally started a podcast... Like using an iPhone and like renting space in a library or room or whatever with her friend and just put it up and expected that they were going to get all these oh, ad fuck. ad offers and stuff and then just stopped after five episodes and it was the story about how podcasting is kind of hitting a crescendo and yeah and I'm like you're just terrible at the job yeah. you don't do it right and it's very similar indeed to how I'm playing Crash Team Racing I'm just not good enough <laughs> I mean I'm still on my second lap are you going to lap me is that even it's I can't allow that. That's I just can't simply probably can't likely. I I'm actually at the finish line already, so it's fine. Yeah, I mean, I just fa I just passed the finish line, but I'm on my third lap, so. I think that, <laughs> you know, I'm just really bad at this. 
I gotta say, I'm like really bad. Well, it, it helps. Honestly, like a lot of people who like play Mario Kart are pretty bad at this too. But like the fact that you have no recent memory of I don't really play this games. probably doesn't help. It's just the audience continues to make me play games I don't want to play. <laughs> you know, like they just get off on it. I think they enjoy the suffering that well, it, we could do like a, a crazy time trial after this, or like you, we could stop this. Right. Well, there's only one more race in this, right? There's only one more race in this. We might as well see it through then. Well, yeah. yeah I didn't sure. even get a chance to finish again. <laughs> Ripper Roo fucking finish ahead of me. Oh, they got the little. And Tana. Tana. Crash's I have no girlfriend. points. Crash's girlfriend from the first game. I think they added that in this thing. I haven't done. And this new Nitro Circuit they're th doing, like the Grand Prix thing, it's really cool, but I have this game on so many platforms that I've gotten at oh. to, to exactly where I'm at here on every single platform. That's too bad. Yeah, I'm trying to get all the time trials on. You are Xbox. you playing it on Switch as well? Yeah, and then also PS4, and then Xbox One. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? <laughs> because so I have what, an Xbox what? One. Because I have an Xbox One at home in New York. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> well, I guess that makes sense. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I love this game. I can't help it. It's fun. I mean, I'm just not. You know, I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. We're jumping into the thick of it. Is the problem. You Sometimes know? that's the best way to learn. Eh. I mean, it's not really working for me. Not, it doesn't not for seem this. like this, this. This this is the hardest one too. I didn't realize. Oh, I'm I'm perfectly fine with that. It doesn't matter. There's no hope for me now. I just don't want to finish in last place again, but I think I'm going to, because it, it seems like everyone. It seems I don't know. It seems like everyone. The AI is pretty good on normal, like you were saying. Yeah, this is medium. Me, yep, medium this and is medium difficulty, which should be like pretty. Accessible. Yeah. I would assume that kids would want to play on the easy hard, you know, easy uh, hardness, I was going to say. Easy hard is not a term. Yeah. Easy mode is like the new medium. It's insane. They really like up the difficulty. I don't know why. I guess to make it a little bit more uh, challenging for returning people. I'm beeping at people. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. think it's working. I don't think it's doing anything, though. No. Nah. They I might mean, go out of the way. Oh, man. I just got passed up. So, I mean, this really is, I mean, it's not a huge surprise, but it really is a game of skill. I mean, look how much better you are at this game than I am. And you know what? I was saying, too, Chris, with the Titanfall 2 Let's Play we were doing, people are really quite enamored with your general skill level. Like, at games. Like, you're good at games. You I'm know? good at specific ones. Like, this, this, I'm not, I'm actually kind of bad at Mario Kart. Like, I'll, I'll, I, I shouldn't say that. I'm, like, okay at it. Like, but this is, like, one that, like, kind of clicks with me for whatever reason. And FPS is, I've had, like, a long, long string of... A long yeah. storied history, let's say. Yeah, and a lot of online stuff. Like online shit really That sharpened you to a fine a fine uh I, point. I feel like when you play online, especially with those games, it's just like you you're hitting levels of like strategy that like the AI is not really putting on you. You know? Right. Like the AI isn't like crouching in like a corner trying to figure out what the best way to, you know, get the drop on you is. I've always been fascinated by how AI works generally. Just in like you always assume it knows everything you're doing and is reacting to it based on a difficulty algorithm or whatever. Yeah. I've always just been fascinated. Like, how do they balance that? How does that work? It's so above my understanding, my technical understanding. Yeah, that was why I just gave up on making games. <laughs> now I just talk about them like a fucking idiot. Yeah, right? Oh, wow. I got extra fucked on that one. Fucking Royale with cheese. <laughs> Destroyed. I'm beeping. But yeah, like, there's a lot of, like, weird kicks to this game. Like, there's uh, a bunch of stuff that I'm pretty sure, like, in the original game was just not intended that they kept intact. Oh, just to make it Just to make pure. it super faithful. Yeah, because, like, the best thing about the game was how, not, not broken, but, like, how many things were in it that, you know, probably wouldn't have been in it if the de developers were, like, fully aware of what they were doing. Right, right. Like, because there's a mode uh, in this game, like, the community around it talks a lot about it called Sacred Fire. Fuck. Which is when you have, like, these big-ass, like, orange flames, right? And then you hit certain boost pads that give you blue flames, and that's ultimate sacred fire. And you can keep that boost for the entirety of a race if you know how to, you know, if you know how to maintain your speed. And it's, like, kind of insane that it even remotely lets you do that. I love stuff about old games like that, though, where things weren't patched out because they couldn't be. So games yeah. were pretty much as they were. I've, I always enjoyed that aspect of old games. Now, some games were catastrophically broken. Yeah. But not many. A lot of games back in the day were broken in a way that, like, arguably made them better. Like, I think, uh, I would argue, I think 
Halo 2 was one of those where, like, that game was kind of, a, a, like, a mess. Like, competitively, like, there were button combos that you could, like, cancel out reload animations, but it just made the game, like, super competitive for people on playing on higher level and arguably helped make that game so, you know, seminal. And there's stuff like that here. Like, you can break mid-air and not lose your speed as long as you, like, hit it at the perfect point of a jump. Oh, I did it. Now, I don't mean to... I don't want to get anyone too Seven. excited, but I'm not in last place. Will you crash? Who's behind you? I don't... Who the fuck is behind you? I don't know. Someone must have gotten real fucked up. Yeah, I think someone's destroyed. There's, I think. Oh, yeah, there's, like, that pink... the That cat creature. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever it's like it is, I think, is, behind you. is just staying still. I'm going to take it, though. I'm yeah. taking it to the fucking house. Hey, man, that, that counts. I think it's actually going to let me finish, too, because I won't be the last. I don't know. Maybe. We'll find out. Yeah, it I, is guess a long it, I, I guess eventually it's like, all right, we, this that's is a enough. Long, this is a long track. It is. It's you can see like the finish a... line, though, I think. Yeah, you're good. Oh, man, I lucked out just by that person being broken. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> yes! You finished. Isabella didn't finish. Fuck you! <laughs> I still have no points. I earned no points. <laughs> I've earned no points in the Grand Prix. It's kind of brutal on people who aren't, aren't like, great at it. Should we see another part of the game before we wrap up? Or? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do like, uh, a single-player time trial. Okay. So they have, like, one screen to look at. Okay. Might be a good... Hold on. How do you... How do you... <sighs> I don't know how to do this. Maybe you have to do it, too? Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay, so the time trials are kind of insane, uh, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like by like some of the stuff that's very clearly broken that they just kept in, which is awesome because it's just on multiplayer. It's just all these people doing all this broken shit, and it's kind of awesome. I'm excited. I'm excited yeah. to see it. It's cool to see. It's fun to watch, honestly. Uh, little trophy animations. They used to in the original game. They had trophy girls that would hand hand you trophies. They got rid of those, I guess. Well, they got rid, of the, but they they got rid of them, but they did it in a really cool way. Like I, I normally I would have been like, ah, that's kind of lame, you know. It's not that big of a deal. There are trophy girls, sure, that's a thing. Yeah, but like they just made them racers. That's cool, and that's kind of yeah. neat. Yeah. I like that a lot. I don't mind that little engine there, with his eye falling out. I didn't know he could do that, but that's that's cool. That's PlayStation all. probably would have edited it, out, had it edited out anyway. That's a hard word Sensors. to say. Sensors, edited, edited. Edited. It's a hard word to say fast. I had to do that edited in like edited the, edited. I did like a rap, like an Eminem song, and I, I say edited in it, and it took me like 80 takes. Edited. edited. I'm also illiterate, so that's probably not helpful. <laughs> <clears throat> let's see. All right, so let's. I want to see Chris's skills here. We're going to go to okay, the yeah. Glacier we'll Park one. area. So we'll do uh, this. I think the best character to have for this is Coco because she's acceleration. Uh, I'll do Retro Coco. Coco's a fast bitch. She's Let's fast. Let's do it. She was the speedrun character back in the day, as far as I remember. But, oh, you uh, know what? That's what I was thinking, was that games today, even when they're broken in, in ways that are cool for speedrunning or people enjoy the breaks or whatever, it's you can't download games from the PlayStation Network without the newest patch attached. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's, so it, only if you have the physical game could you even exploit it in such a way, which sucks. Because yeah. that happened with Bloodstain. Bloodstain was totally broken for me. And because I couldn't, I didn't have the physical version of the game. It was just broken forever. But that was broken in like a way that was like very obviously detrimental. Oh, it sucked. I had to start the game over again. All right, so here so we you, go. So you just race this ghost. All righty. Oh, it's slippery. No, oh, see, no, I'm watching it's you. The drift, right? Oh, so that's so you, your drift. Okay, I see. So the, when you look at the bottom right, right? I see. I kind of fucked up. But, uh, oh, fuck, I'm really fucking up. You hit those, like, three perfect drifts, and then you're rewarded with, like, a crazy boost of speed. But then the game makes you do shit like this. Wow. Where it's, like, it's ridiculous. I'm probably going to lose now, but... See, that's crazy. So even the ghost is doing yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's like, hold on. I, I'm not happy with that at all. <laughs> Let's try again. But, yeah, like, the, um, the ghosts... I, I don't think they used to do that. I think they added them in because they didn't want to remove the shortcuts uh i see so, so it just, gave you an idea of where to go yeah so it's like doing the time trials is like the best way to learn this game because it teaches you all of the crazy shit that just playing normally won't now you think they would have gotten that seal off the track before the race began no nah, that's his job how much do you think do you think these guys are all like minimum wage workers like oh 200 percent no there's skills no, there's no way they make money like good money like it's the it's like a seal who like doesn't 
who like washed out of school and there you go. God ah. damn it. That's so difficult. Still. There you got it. Okay. Maybe he'll mess up. Ooh. No. It's insane. Yeah, this is rough. I can still catch up if I like if I can maintain that boost with the uh there's like a super pad at the end. The game looks like it runs at a nice frame rate, but I guess I'm not Yeah, it's not it's not a bad thirty frames at all, but like you know. But the people wanted it at sixty. Yeah, I'm a little surprised that they couldn't get it to run at sixty. It doesn't seem like it's Damn. that in, in intense, but maybe. Yeah, you know, maybe. Well, obviously, it, it is graphically pretty beautiful, but not like uh, With all the textures and. Yeah, it's not like crazy. I don't know, man. I'm really feeling that this. I'm glad Crash did much better than I thought because I'm happy that this kind of stuff's making a comeback, especially because some of the stuff that was supposed to be like the spiritual successor to some of these things, like uh, ukulele. And hat and time and stuff. Just I don't think we're very I'm so good. So bad at this now. So it just comes. I'm it, out of practice. It, you're out of practice. That's all right. The Spyro trilogy I gotta recommend highly to people. I really enjoyed. That was that. a good one. Yeah. I platinum the first two. I actually kind of burned out on the third one, but. Yeah, no, the third one's arguably the weakest, or not the weakest, but like uh, the one where I feel like there are more more uh, wow. missteps. Wow. Yeah. See, this is you really gotta have a lot of memorization here. Now, is this this is one of the more difficult tracks you'd say? I would say so. Yeah, especially with that ridiculous uh shortcut but yeah so i got the blue flame now so if i can maintain this which is a feat of its own i could probably do it ah fuck spoke too soon perhaps yeah it's hard this yeah this easy. i mean this is wild as shit i, I don't know i see i it's funny man the because the speed you, of it is just insane you and i are built with games so differently too where like i don't know that i i think it's my aversion to racing generally but i don't know that i would ever find this fun even if i was you know like yeah, I or I, I should say that i wouldn't want to do it enough to be good yeah i would become too frustrated so you actually have a, a stickiness with games that i don't have i get frustrated very easily yeah i'm I like think, fuck it i think it helps that like um i don't know like when i was a kid this was like the one game that i had on the ps1 until like way later i had this spider-man like the neversoft one and uh like a, a handful of like weird ones like toy story and like stuff like that. I definitely lost. <laughs> this is hard. I'm glad it's still hard though. But at least we got to show the people a little more skill than I was uh, displaying. Should we do one more? We'll do one more. Let's we'll, do one more. We'll time do one trial. that I really like because it's just insane. Like the sp the the speed that you can reach on Engine Labs, I think, is pretty cool. Where is it? Engine Labs. I'll go for. I'll go for. Uh... Look at you moving through the menus like a fucking champ. I'll go for a little guy. He's cute. That he's, young, that young gentleman. He's a cutie. Oh, he's a cutie. Man. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't want to see that thing dead. No, he's gonna die eventually of old age, but we don't have to see it. There's a the polar bear character is like in Crash Two, and there's a whole like warp room level where you just get to stop, step on his head. <laughs> it's really fucked up, really. <laughs> but they remastered demented. it. <laughs> they remastered it. It's it's, it's little, in there. It's a little demented. Yeah, a little bit, but you know, you know. You gotta appeal to everybody, even oh. <laughs> animal abusers. This is cool. Yeah, this is a fun one. This is the one with like kind of. Uh... I it's weird. Somebody was explaining this to me the other day, but like Crash is like kind of like a sci-fi game. I never really thought mm. about it. Like the story and the yeah, setting. Yeah, it's like about mutants, and mm. you don't even really think about it. But like somebody was like, "Yeah, Crash is a sci-fi game. That's why all these like laboratory levels." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, I guess that's true." Yeah, I never. I don't even think I really know what it's about. Is Crash Bandicoot, like, was he a human being once or something? Or no, has he he's always like, been he's a Bandicoot? just a normal Bandicoot. And I think uh, the story is Cortex tried to build an army of, like, hyper-intelligent uh, animals. And, uh, what is it? He got, uh, I don't know, it just didn't work on Crash. It's kind of like Mega Man. So, yeah, kind of, yeah, basically. Like where Mega Man wasn't reprogrammed like the rest of them, so he didn't, he, he didn't turn bad. Oh, that's interesting. It's actually very much like Mega. Although I guess Mega Man is very similar to Sonic in a way, and the others. Yeah. I don't really know what Sonic. I mean, I don't even want to know what Sonic's about. To be no? perfectly honest with you. You're not curious. See, not like I, I'm, I'm maintaining this like blue shit. It's insane. I love. Ah, oh, man. You have the good. Now, are, you, are your roommates good at this? No. <laughs> so you can't play with them. No. I've pretty much relegated my life to uh. To um, just playing this by myself. Until one of them can set foot in, in a, a proper challenge with me, which is probably unlikely. <laughs> How dare you, sir? 
What are they? They're more in the single player games and what have you. Uh, I I think they're more like. Uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, I think they're more like a multiplayer, like uh, more FPS. So I can play like Halo with them and stuff like that. But <laughs> oh, damn it, damn! And I love the random animal screams, by the way, that are I'm hearing every <laughs> once in a while. I don't know if it's your driver or the people being experimented on. Yeah, no, it's 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 this freaking tiger. He's like, it's the polar bear has disgusting, uh, just disgusting noises. It's truly inhuman. Will this game get DLC, did they say? Yeah, it already has. Oh, it has gotten it already? It's uh, Well, that Grand Prix thing that we were doing. Oh, that's a, that's a special... Yeah. I didn't know that. I lost I lost a pretty good amount of... It's it's really hard talking while doing this. I know. I know. <laughs> Audience, don't judge. I mean, you're going to judge <laughs> us anyway. You always do, but... I think I did pretty well, all things considered. Our audience is pretty nice to us, actually. I read some stuff... Fuck. That was bad. Uh, I read some stuff I online. I lose again. Fuck. Yeah, I don't know, Chris. Yeah, he's fucking zooming. That son of a bitch. He's hard. That son of a bitch. And not in a good way. Ah. Ah. All right, here we go. But yeah, like, I don't know. Well, it's, it's, a, was... it's a pretty insane... Like it, It's not something that's... Uh, this is not accessible. <laughs> At least not on, like, medium. Like, you really do have to bump it down to easy to really... I would say get a handle on it and get a handle on the tracks. But it's such a good, it's a satisfying game to get good at because you kind of feel yourself getting getting better at it. And when you put it down, like like I, I would have trounced this like a week ago, you know. Yeah, you need to you need to stay sharp. But that's just the way it goes. But it's fun, man. I I, I find it super satisfying. Crash Team Racing on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Thanks to Activision for sending us our copies. Uh, thank you all for voting out there for us as well to do this. Appreciate you. Maybe throw in some games that are good at some point if you want to like it. Uh, <laughs> Overcooked was a fun one. We got to return to that. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. Uh, but this was a, I was I was happy to play this and see it with my own two eyes. I know Chris is really passionate about it, and a lot of people are. A lot of people are buying it. It's, I think already sold several million copies. So yeah, what was it number them. two on something? Like I think last month, it was on MPD at number two. That's insane. Um, yeah, cool. and it's got to be in the top. I would assume it's in the top 20 games sold this year, for sure. I'm so, really happy to hear that. Yeah. Makes me makes my cold heart uh, warm a little bit. Well, Chris, thank you for your time. Appreciate you. Of course. Uh, thank you all out there for your support of Sacred Symbols. Remember, listen to us on Tuesdays on Patreon and on Fridays on free feeds. Go vote for the next Let's Play we do. And thank you so much for your love. We'll see you next time. Bye.